The flooding continues to wreak havoc in many communities in our area, from Sun River to the Helena Valley and Augusta. The water has closed roads, businesses, and even blocked access to some homes. Our team coverage begins tonight with Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevenance, who's live in Augusta right now. Curtis, let's start things off tonight with how things are looking today and what's expected to come. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, what a difference a day makes here in Augusta. I'm standing uh, right on Main Street and, and cars are driving by. The road is open here uh, th right through Augusta. However, a lot of the surrounding area roads are still closed now. Uh, behind me again, you can see Main Street Augusta and you can see some of the sandbags that were placed out here in front of the Western Barn and in front of some of the other local businesses right here uh, along the roadway here. The water has receded throughout the area by a couple of feet at the very least uh, here. Uh, of course, yesterday video that we shared on the news, water was flowing completely across Main Street and it deposited a lot of uh, the dirt and the gravel that you're seeing over what is normally a paved road. Here's what we know. Water is receding. The good news is there were no injuries and of course no fatalities with this flooding here. Everybody is accounted for and is safe. However, there were a lot of homes around the Augusta area that were cut off because of floodwaters. So information is still coming in uh, to the town of Augusta and to the Sheriff's Department here uh, just about how many homes and, and what damage has been done to the surrounding area. Coming up, we'll uh, talk to some of the uh, locals here who uh, went through the entire flooding ordeal and I uh, believe at the 6 o'clock news, we'll go out to Highway 21 where a bridge completely destroyed by the floodwaters but uh, Augusta still an island here surrounded by a lot of water but the water is receding for now I'm live up in Augusta Curtis Grevenitz MTN News thanks Curtis now we'll continue our flood watch coverage tonight in Cascade County 